In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the patch tool in Photoshop. Now, the spot healing brush tool and the healing brush tool are good if you're trying to fix minor blemishes or defects in your photograph. But if you're going to try to fix larger scale items, then really you want to use the patch tool. And the patch tool is really excellent at removing objects, animals, humans, ex-husbands, ex-wives, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, those kinds of things. Now, the patch tool has two basic options, normal mode and content aware mode. Normal mode itself has two options, source and destination. Now, first let's talk about normal source. This is mainly used if you want to target and replace a portion of your photograph. The normal source mode is better with human faces because this gives you more of a blend. But if you have landscapes like we have in this picture, it's better to go ahead and use the content aware because there's less blending involved. And again, we don't really need a lot of blending. We just want to pretty much do a pixel for pixel replacement of the area that we target. So we're first going to go ahead and start out with content aware. So basically what we want to do is remove this hiker from the photograph. Now I chose this photograph because this is a little bit more complex than your average removal. That's because he's against two backgrounds. You can see he's against this sky, but as you can see his feet are against this rock. So really we have to do two passes at this. First we want to remove the portion of his body from the sky, and then we want to do another pass and remove his feet from this rock. So first we're going to deal with the sky. Now by default the lasso is used with the patch tool and you'll remember we used that a few videos ago so let's go ahead and draw around the portion of his body that's against the sky so we're gonna start right here and what you want to do is try to cut in as close as you can to the edge of this rock just like that and then we're gonna go around here and there now we have the portion of his body that's against the sky selected. And then what you can do is basically move this to the area that you want to replace this part with and Obviously, we want to replace the sky because the sky is right here. So let's just move this a little bit to the right, and you can see he's pretty much disappeared. You'll also notice that Photoshop gives you an idea of how it'll look. So you just drag it over here, and it'll give you again an idea of how it's going to look. And that looks pretty good. So once you let up on the mouse, it's going to go ahead and blend this in. So hit Control D to get rid of the selection. And you can see it took him completely out of the photo now. And you'd be hard pressed to see that he was actually removed out of this. And now what we're going to do is draw around his feet at the top of this rock. And we're just going to go right above his feet here. Just like that. That probably could have been done better, but you get the point. So let's go ahead and drag this down below a little bit. And you can see that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and let that go. Hit Control D to get rid of the selection. And take a look at that. He is now completely removed from this photograph, and you'd be hard-pressed to notice that anything was done here. And so, again, sometimes you need to do two steps like we just did if your subject is against multiple backgrounds. Now, keep in mind, sometimes you might need to play around with this a while if you don't get the desired effect that you're looking for. And that, again, means you might need to create multiple layers. Always remember, layers are your best friend. And I'm going to actually open up another photograph here, and I have this New Zealand landscape. And let's say we wanted to get rid of this whole line of trees. Well, we can just lasso right around this. And like we did in the last photo, you just drag this to the area that you want to show up in our target area. So we'll go ahead and do that. And in this case, we want grass. We want those trees to be replaced by grass. And so go ahead and release the mouse. And we'll hit Control D to get rid of the selection. And let's say we wanted to get rid of this dirt. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and lasso that out of there as well. And we'll just drag this down a little bit and put some grass in there. And now the dirt's gone, and we can even get rid of this dirt pile. So you can see with just a few mouse clicks, you can start to drastically alter photographs. Now let's flip back to normal mode and we want to actually go ahead and select destination. Now this mode will actually let you duplicate an object completely. It'll actually make a complete duplicate. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another photograph here and let's open up the Emperor Penguins photograph. And let's say we wanted to completely duplicate this penguin. Well, let's go ahead and do that. We'll just lasso around him. 
and we're just going to drag him to the right and you can see we got a complete duplicate and then I'm just going to try to align this here and take a look at that that looks perfect now there's also a transparent option and I think that speaks for itself it'll give you kind of a transparent feel to whatever you duplicate and we'll go ahead and try that really quickly so let's go ahead and select these two penguins right here and we'll just drag them to the left and eh, we're running out of room but we'll just drop them right here and there you can see we have this translucent effect okay that's going to do it for this video as always thanks for watching